Hello everyone. Steam is my go-to game library, and it is not uncommon for users to encounter Steam games that won't download or start on the Windows PC. Millions have faced a wide range of problems surrounding Steam and its packages. I have compiled a list of solutions that will counter Valve software problems and resolve the issue permanently. Method 1. Restart Windows. I have solved multiple problems related to the software and programs by restarting the machine. There might be a pending update that is waiting for the next reboot and that could be causing the issue. Method 2. Steam Server Status. Open your browser. Go to Steam's official stats page. The number of players will drop significantly if the servers are offline or facing downtime. Method 3. Change Steam Server Location. Open the application and click on Steam from the top menu. Click on Settings from the drop-down menu. A new window will show up on the screen, and choose Downloads to view more. Click on the drop-down menu under Download Region. Scroll down to view servers from different parts of the world and select one. Click on OK to save changes. Close Steam and restart the Windows machine to apply the new settings. Method 4. Remove Bandwidth Limitations. Press the Windows key and a key to open settings. Select Network and Internet to view more options. Click on Ethernet to view the adapter information. Click to disable the metered connection option. Now, open the Steam application and try to download the game. Method 5. Verify Steam Game Files. Open Steam and select Library to view the games. Select the game that is not updating and right clicks the mouse to choose Properties. A new tab appears on the screen. Select Local Files to continue. Click on the Verify Integrity of Game Files option. Let Steam verify the game files. Click on Close once the scanning process is finished. Method 6. Run Full System Scan. Many reports have emerged that over 100 million new malware pieces were found in 2021 alone and were all designed to penetrate Windows security layers. You should immediately run a full system scan and remove the malware that is lingering somewhere in the machine.